Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Penguin and welcome back to Farm Simulator 15 Mod Show. Today we have a, har a harvester, it's a beet harvester and it's quite a big beet harvester judging by the, uh, the pictures. And here it is, the Roper Eurotiger V83XL uh, and then it comes with its attachments so you've got the, the head and then you've got the head of trail. So it's that big, right? It has its own detachable head. Because it obviously it can't fold up. And it has its own head of trailer, which looks looks kinda interesting. It doesn't like you place this one on top. I think you place it underneath and you, you like you pick it up from above with this railing. Um Yeah, we'll have to have a look at that. So yeah, it's two hundred and ninety thousand pound. It's fifty five pound a day. It is four hundred and forty 444 kilowatt, 604 horsepower, 29,000 litre capacity, and it's used for harvest, harvesting sugar beet only. There isn't one for potatoes. Well, there is, but we're not looking at that. Uh, we're looking at this. So, yeah, let's buy that. Then the head, the PR, or the Roper PRXL, 15,000, 10 pound a day, working width is 4.5 metres, and it's for obviously the uh, Euro Tiger. Um, yeah, let's get that. And the header trailer, P, the Roper PR XL trailer, 7,500, £5 a day. Yeah. Let's get that. I just want to compare to the in game one. We're not going to compare to this one here because this is obviously a mod. Um, so it's 290,000, 29,000 litre capacity. The in-game one is 479,000, but has 32,850 litre capacity. So, more expensive, a lot more expensive, but more capacity. The in this is the in-game one. However, for the extra capacity, I don't think it's worth an extra, it's like 100 and something thousand pound. Uh, yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, hang on, actually, how much was it again? Yeah, 180s, I don't know. I, I'd be able to work it out if, if my brain was functioning right. But it has less horsepower. This one has 604 horsepower, where the other one has 400 and something. So, yeah, bit of a difference. So here we are. Wow, this thing is detailed. Oh wow! You see, this has this is all wheels. There's no tracks on it, so I'm going to be intrigued how this turns. Does it turn at the front? I I don't know. Would it turn at the back? Uh, I can see uh, hydraulic things there that um, could make the back wheels turn. Anyway, let's do a clip test. From what I've heard, this is quite a good mod, so I'm expecting uh, pretty decent things. So the game just crashed, uh, not had that happen to me in a while. I don't think it was to do with this, I think it's just to do uh, just with the game in general. Um, in fact, I do know the reason why it wasn't. It wasn't this. Anyway, clipping seems fine. Uh, you can clip through lots of stuff like the mirrors and that, which I expect. Um, let's go to the head. So, I can see why... I mean, it's not a foldable head anyway, but I, yeah, I can see why um, it has to be transported on a trailer. And yeah, it does look like it goes underneath. It's pretty cool. That's quite a complex uh, head of trailer, that. I can see why it costs 7500 doesn't look like it's uh, cheap to make. There's a beacon on it, cool. Right, let's hop in this. Oh! Ah, oh, did you see that? You get in, the uh, the thing folds up. Oh, it's articulated. <laughs> cool. Right. Wow. Uh, I mean, the interior... Ugh, that looks like concrete. Like concrete interior. Uh, not most detail. This is a convert from 2013, apparently. I never noticed it from 2013. So, yeah. Cool. Right, see how it sounds. Uh 
Wow. There we go. Oh, does that... I need to unfold it. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. Nice beefy sounding engine. Ah, this thing is an absolute monster. Right, let's see how fast it goes. 15 mile per hour. How's it ha uh, go on turning? Uh, turn is fine. 15 mile per hour, so not the fastest thing in the world. Okay, I want to check lights. So, one, two, three, four is front working light. That's quite bright. Sit at five. Five is rear working. Six is side working. That's obviously the unloading light. Seven is another side working. Eight is another side working. And nine. Oh, that's like a. Best to see what's going on. Wow, so literally everything on the numpad works. Oh, hang on. Ah, hang on. So, what's that? Uh, what have I done? So, hang on, right, that's off, that off, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, and that's that. Right, <laughs> let's try that again. So four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think you can only have like so many lights on at once. I think that's how it's, it's working. Anyway, it has a load of lights. Beacons? Oh, we have... Ah, oh, look at that. Four beacons. Cool. Horn? Hmm, pretty wimpy horn for this beast. I not expect a deep tone voice, but... Uh, voice? Uh, horn? Meh. Um, right. Keypad O. Show additional help panel. Oh, oh my god. Key Y apparently is all-wheel steer. Uh... Right. Hmm. There's probably a way to change that. K. What's K? Total steer. So you can have different steering modes, but the thing is, it's clashing with... Um, it's obviously clashing with the... Um, What do you call it? Engine start, that's it. So yeah. Uh, N, offset steer right side. Huh? Oh wow, that's weird. M. What does M do? Oh, it's like curved. Synchronized steering. Oh, so that's that. Z auto steer. Well, that kind of like locks the steering, I think. Right, uh. This is just X to unload. Uh, right, so X unfolds. Oh, wow. Well, let's just get rid of that a minute. Okay. Back to that. Key 5, 6 opens. Wow, there's a lot of conflicts going on here. Go away. Uh, raise unloading conveyor. Oh, really? See, I can't press the numpad plus because that's the hotkey to start recording the video.
Ah. Oh, hang on. So if I do that... Uh, I mean, that's fine. I don't think I'd ever have to lower it. I can't, I can't do the... Uh, the rear, uh, the lower and lower income bags. You're not going to see it because it just stopped the recording. Huh, right. And that's a good steering pattern, but. I don't know what the offset steering means. When would you ever use that? That just seems weird. That's like the total steer, so it's the main one. Right, let's bring the pipe in. Don't wanna. That's weird. That's so many controls there. Left alt. Whoa. Left alt lean forward. What? Oh, wow. So you can, like, look over the steering wheel. And I've actually seen combine harvester drivers do this. Like, they'll, they'll be looking to see if, uh, oh, it's all going, it's all feeding in correct. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I see. That's I see. What? Oh my god. Oh! Ah! Now. Now, this might be good if you have a. Uh, are having problems. So, what's this one? Total steer. There we go. Yes, yeah, so that must be that one. What's this one? All wheel steer. Huh? What's this? Ah, so that's without it articulated. So I'd probably have it on that. I think it's all personal preference when you're working in the field. So let's fold that in. What's this one? That's fold harvester, fold harvesting unit. What's that? Well, that must be when you've uh, attached that. Well, you can open the window. Oh, I like how the sound changes. That's nice. This is all the uh, fold and loading conveyor and the offset steering. Which I don't completely get. Right. Enough of that. Uh, right. I've attached the header, so. Uh, pipe on, turn on harvester. Oh, wow. So, I'm back in here. Hello, no, what's this? Fold harvesting unit. Ah! Oh, what's this? Come on. Like, what is the point of that? Like, seriously, you can't even see anything. That's just stupid. I wouldn't even have that. Let's put that back down. I mean, that is pretty and complex. Right, I want to see it 
hooked up to this thing? How? I mean, how do you even... You know what? I've just worked out this steering is actually quite hard. We've got a total steer. That's where it articulates. That's what I need. Oh, I'm going to put the tractor. Do the mirrors work? Oh, the mirrors do work. Leaning forward help. Now this is where it becomes a pain. Now I need to put it on all wheel steer. Ah nuts. Alright. Oh whoa, whoa, hang on. Attach harvesting unit to trailer. Ah. Oh, that's so good. Ah, hang on. I think I might understand. Ah, I understand the unfolding bit now. Right. Hang on, I'm folding up the wrong thing. Right, fold up that. Then we attach it. Yeah, that's better. Right. Let's see how it looks when it's attached to this. It's a shame there's no cameras. Uh, you can't see a thing. Attach. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And then I think if you were driving on the road, you'd have it. You'd have it articulated. So I mean, it's easy to get around it. But when working in the field, you just have the wheels turning. I think that's how you'd do it. Anyway, let's move on to the part that I think you've all probably been waiting for. Let's see if it actually works. Dropping this off at the right side. Right, let's put it on four wheel steer. Unfold that. Sweet. Oh, that is going to be annoying. Having the door open every time you. Uh, hmm. I might have to go into the control panel and reconfigure some of them controls. Let's test, see if it actually works. Oh, we'll do the... Uh... Uh, it appears it does. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's really cool. And back up. Oh, we're getting beached. Come on, power! Ah, oh, I lifted it up at the wrong time. Mm. 
look at that. So cool. Right, now let's test see if the uh see if the worker works. That's that. Now we'll see if hired help works. And if so, how does it perform? Uh, I'm going to get auto combine to do it. Alright. Auto combine on. Circles. Alright, let's go. Seems to jutter a bit, uh, not sure why. Perhaps because of the steering mode it's on. Uh, perhaps. I need to. Uh... Seriously? Right, perhaps I need to put it in. Um... Total steer. Oh, I've gone the wrong way here. Yeah. See how that performs. Yeah, it seems to work a bit better, so maybe it is better to have it articulated when it's. Where are you going? Oh. Go. Still, we can make it up this part. Go, 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 go! Come on, come on! You can do it. You missed a little bit there, but I just think that was because I'm on the corner. So yeah. I think that's all we need to see from that. That is a brilliant mod, honestly. That's probably one of the best mods I've looked at. It's really, really super complex. Kind of annoying to get your head around, but I think once you do, it's brilliant. Um, I'll stand over here because it is a bit loud. So, yeah, I will definitely put the link in the description for this, like I do always. Um, but, yeah, if you're looking for a sugar beet harvester and not wanting to pay too much, I mean, for how complex detailed this is, it's pretty cheap compared to the in-game one. So, yeah, I'd definitely take a look at it if I was you. Um, like I said, it does take some time to get your head around, um, but I think once you do, it's a brilliant mod. Um, so yeah, definitely go check it out. But that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Please like, favourite and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more Farmer Simulator 15 mods. ta -ra.